Hello and welcome back to the sim racing channel where nothing is impossible. It's Florian for sim racing with Handicap 502. As the Peugeot 9X8 recently had its first race at Monza, I thought let's compare the new hypercar, which is supposed to win the 24 hours of Le Mans in the upcoming years, with the two sports prototype racing cars Peugeot made so far. These are the Peugeot 905 and 908. Both are Le Mans winners and from different eras. We are at Monza for one simple reason. It's the only track where all three cars raced so far in real life. Also the lap times I do with the 9x8 in Monza are very close to the real times. For the starting grid I put the older 905 in front of the new and presumably faster 908 to make it interesting and the hypercars are more in the front as they are very bad at standing starts and rolling starts unfortunately aren't available in AC. So let's see which car is the fastest. I'm driving the hypercar with the number 94 starting in the front. And the lights are out and away we go! And we already see the hypercars struggling at the start. Two 905s are already got past me and the third is attacking me into T1. Can we hold him off? Yes, we could defend it. That means P3. The two 905s already pulled away because of the better start and better acceleration out of turn 2, but let's see if we can catch them. And I think we already got a bit closer to the 905 in the front. As there's a bit of a gap now in front and behind, Let's talk about another interesting aspect of the comparison. It's the fact that we have three different drive concepts in this race. The 905 has a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated 10 cylinder petrol engine, which produced 660 brake horsepower. And as the race gets interesting again, let's concentrate on that. I will talk about the other two cars later in the race. I could catch up quite a bit through the Ascari and now it seems we get even closer on the straight. Maybe we can already overtake into the Parabolica. And we are alongside. It looks we got him. But he breaks later and stays on the outside. He's not giving up. We are still side by side. But now we are past him. It seems we have a top speed advantage over the 905. And now we are already behind the leading 905. Let's see how fast we can overtake him. A little lock up there for me. He's again pulling away a bit out of the very slow corner. And we gained a bit through that corners but not too much. In the fast corners our advantage over the 905 isn't that big. It's more on the brakes and in the slow corners itself where we gain some time. And I see a 908 in my rear mirror which seems pretty quick. But now listen to the sound of the 905. The V10 sounds absolutely amazing. And we are in the lead, but we have to run now, because I think the 908 will get past the 905 pretty soon, and then he will hunt us down. And the 908 already overtook the 905 and is right behind us. He even tried to have a look on the inside immediately. The 908 looks very, very quick. Let's see if we can hold him off, but it will be hard to defend for two laps. And there it was already very close. 
as the 908 is directly behind us now, let's talk about that car's engine. It has a 5.5 liter turbocharged V12 diesel engine with a diesel particulate filter which produced 700 brake horsepower. He's right on our tail. I think it's only a matter of time until he will overtake us. Now on the start finish straight it will be very hard if not impossible to defend it. We had a good exit and I'm going to the inside. Interestingly he didn't fly past us but on the brakes he's very strong and now I left a bit too much space for him so he stayed on the inside. Now it will be an acceleration battle and he goes past very easily and he immediately pulls away. Now it's about defending second. I think we are lucky that the other 908s are stuck behind other cars. As we are not in a fight for now, let's talk about the hypercar, which we are driving. It is an all-wheel drive hybrid, which has a 2.6 liter twin turbo V6 petrol engine, producing 680 brake horsepower and an electric motor with 272 brake horsepower. The maximum power output is limited to 670 brake horsepower at all times. And there is the finish line, it's P2 for the hypercar. Now let's have a look at the results. As we saw, a 908 won, then it's us in the 9x8 behind, on third again a 908 and on fifth two. Then we have each of the hypercars slightly behind a 905. If you look at the fastest lap times, we can clearly see that the 908s were the fastest and the hypercars the second fastest, but the AI in general struggled a bit with overtaking. That's why the hypercars weren't in front of the 905s. But there are less than four seconds between the fastest and the slowest time, which is not very much considering that the 905 is from 1992. Talking about performance, I think the weaknesses of the 905 are the top speed and the mechanical grip in slow corners. The hypercar has a weak acceleration out of very slow corners, but has more mechanical grip than the 905. Finally the 908, it's the fastest car without any real weaknesses. It's good in all types of corners and has the best top speed out of the three. I hope you enjoyed the video, see you in the next one.